As we say goodbye to 2020, let's ring in the new year with a little bittersweet cocktail using the prime ingredient, Chandon sparkling wine. I am a huge fan of sparkling wine and I do love a good Chandon sparkling wine coming from the Napa Valley. This one here is a Pinot Noir grape and it is a Blanc de Pinot Noir. So it's got a really good full body. And you wanna make this um, as part of your daily drinker. Don't just keep it for a, a special event. You know, have it instead of a white wine. It's fantastic. This one here is a Brut. A Brut is extra dry on the palate and slightly sweet. But I gotta tell you, Chandon makes some fantastic sparkling wines and I would try every single one of them if I were you. But today I'm gonna make you a cocktail using agave, Angostura bitters, and again, our prime ingredient, the sparkling wine. So the agave is really good to use in this cocktail because it's going to um, dissolve really well in with the sparkling wine. And you want about a teaspoon, maybe a little less than a teaspoon, and then go ahead and fill that glass with your sparkling wine. And again, I'm using the Blanc de Pinot Noir and uh, certainly a delicious flavor. You can find this at your grocery store. Um, you can also order it directly from the winery <laughs> if you'd like. And then, because we have to pay homage to what we just went through in 2020, we're gonna add a few dashes of Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters to me gives it kind of like a, a ginger ale flavor. And uh, just stir that around. Your agave syrup is already dissolved. And here you have it, a wonderful, delightful toast to the new year. This is my bittersweet sparkling wine cocktail. Thank you for joining me on the Prime Ingredient. We'll see you next time.